I don't know, but there's a lot of stuff that could get you out of here when you're in the trucking industry. Do you ever think about when you out of here? Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and that thank you button to show support of the channel. Now, let's get into it. Top 10 bad habits that could get you out of here. Do you ever think about when you out of here? Let's go. Number one. So number one, drugs and alcohol. Drugs and alcohol. Yes, sir. Smoke weed every day. Smoke, Smoke weed, weed on the truck. Day. Get caught with weed on the truck. Or try to sneak into the industry with weed in your body. It can get you day. up out of here real quick. Do you ever think about when you out of here? Number two. Texting and driving. Testing and driving. Yes, sir. A lot of drivers do it. A lot of drivers is used to it. They know they do it. They know they do it. They turn it around and be like, no, I don't do it. Yes, you do. You do it. Testing and driving can get you out of here. Do you ever think about when you out of here? Number three. In misuse of personal conveyance. Misuse of personal conveyance. Yes, sir. Now, look, personal conveyance is just what it is. It's the use of the truck for your personal needs. Now, let me let you know, some companies don't allow it. So make sure you read that fine print in the employee handbook. But if you misuse it, I don't think it'll get you out of here, but it will definitely come up off your Sam Sarah if you do misuse it. Do you ever think about when you out of here? We're gonna put four down. Are constant violations at the scales. Constant violations at the scales. Y'all know what y'all do. Bad pre-trip, bad post-trip. Y'all miss something. Y'all overweight. Y'all don't slide them tandems to the right hole. And y'all keep going over the scales. That's why we get pulled in because the CSA score for that company is continuing to drop. And when it drops to a point, you're going to get pulled in the scale no matter how good of a pre-trip and post-trip that you did. But you keep getting in there, and if it's on you, you're going to get out of here. Do you ever think about when you out of here? Number five. Number five, a shitty attitude. Fucked up attitudes, man. I, you know, I understand as a truck driver, we got so much stress on our minds, mental problems, everyday life. But you can't take that bad attitude into the client of the company. Because we represent the company. When we go in there, we got to be on our best behavior. Because I guarantee you that if something happens between you and the client, the trucking company is going to always side with the client. Because you want to know why? You want to know why? Give me a show of hands if you want to know why. You want to know why? Because they don't want to lose their money. Number six. six, constant damages and fender benders. Constant damages and fender benders. Yes, sir. You keep you, you keep banging that trailer up. You keep banging that trailer up. That trailer was in pristine condition, but then you cut short. You turn short. You slide up against the building. You scrape up against the wall, or you keep banging and banging and banging. Yeah, it's not going to be a good look for you. They're going to get you out of here. Do you ever think about when you out of here? Number seven. Number seven, punctuality. Number Punctuality. On time, baby. On time. Now, I can understand, you know, in some cases, traffic will back you up. Construction will back you up. Accidents will back you up. Anything that will happen could back you up. But sometimes it's up to you to, like, to foresee Oncoming situations, like if you got to be at an appointment at eight o'clock, you got to you you maybe got to get up at six o'clock to make that eight o'clock appointment. You got to be you 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 going to be late. You're going to be late. Make sure you communicate that with your driver leader, because if you don't communicate that with your driver leader, your driver leader going to think that you're going to be there on time, but you're two, three, four hours late. Why? Why you didn't call, you didn't text, you didn't tell us anything that could get you out of here. Do you ever think about when you out of here? Now, number eight. Uh, it's watching movies while driving. Number I'm, I'm hoping 
that you guys don't do this. You know, we, we don't know what's going on in your trucks and everything. You know, me, I listen to a lot of podcasts, a lot of audio books and, you know, thinking in my head and all like that. But some of you guys watch movies in the truck that could get you out of here. Do you ever think about when you out of here? Number nine should be number one in speeding, speeding. Booyah, booyah. And don't think that your company don't know that your truck is excessive speeding. Now, if you're going down a hill, yeah, you know, you're gonna you you're gonna increase in speed down the hill. But if you don't roll it back in time, you may get that call from safety, or you may get or you may, yeah, you may get that call for safety telling you to. Hey, bud, you might want to slow it down there, buddy. But if you like legitimately speeding like 55, like if it's 55 and you're constantly doing 65, then, yeah, that just might be a problem. But it can also get you out of here, though. Do you ever think about when you out of here? Number 10. An improper pre-trip inspection. I don't know. They say it's improper pre-trip inspection, but. How can you do an improper pre-trip inspection, though? I mean, basically, you got when you get up in the morning, the first thing you're going to do after you get your coffee, you're going to come back and check all your components on your truck. Now, I know a lot of you guys like, you know, an in-depth pre-trip inspection that you learn in trucking school. Yeah, some of you guys threw that out the window, you know. But I think that in-depth pre-trip inspection that you learned in trucking school will help you keep a good tendency on your truck. I mean, just open up the hood. Just make sure that the belts is on point. Make sure that your fuel, I mean, that your fluids is on point and everything. Make sure nothing's leaking. Make sure nothing's broke. And I, I think you'd be good. I, I don't think, uh, I don't think too many people is out of here on bad pre-trip inspection because you want to you want to check out your truck first anyway before you start driving it anyway so i don't know i guess that's why that's on the bottom of the list but that's it let me know in the comments below what you think that could get you out of here do you ever think about when you out of here I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, our bars got pops. Urge red and Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, bum, bum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.